Hey guys, GPix here, um, aka Jake. Uh, I am just doing a quick video. This is actually being uh, filmed on my iPhone. Uh, it's so much easier than doing it on my camera. I've got a little uh, cyber shot or something like that from Sony, and um, you got to take out the SD card and all that crap. So this one just uploaded from my phone. Bingo, bango, I'm good to go. So what we have here is my uh, two-week-old reef tank, and actually, I think it's exactly two weeks old because I did it a little late afternoon on a Sunday. So here we are. Um, everything seems to be doing really well. No ammonia. The nitrates are a little high. I've read that it could be because of the hang on the back filter. Um, I'm gonna look up some things on how I can maybe modify that. Not really sure if that's a possibility or not. Uh, I have all the supplement packs that came with the filter in there, so that could be a possible reason for the higher nitrates. When I say high nitrates, I'm talking like 20 parts per million, so I, I definitely need to get those down. Uh, but I did a water change uh, just a couple days ago, so we'll have to see what I should do about that. If you have any suggestions, again, go ahead and let me know. Um, if the suggestion is uh, just get a sump and get rid of the filter and then get a skimmer, that's a possibility. Um, right now, actually, I have a 10-gallon uh, tank that I got at the dollar per gallon sale at Petco, and that I'm going to try to make into a, a DIY sump here at some point in the near future, I hope. Uh, I'm going to do some more research on that, though, before I go ahead. And also, in order to do a sump effectively, I guess you don't really need it, but, um, oh, there goes focus. Uh, you kind of want to. You kind of want a, a, a stand. Uh, I don't have a stand yet, as you can see. This is right. Of, it's on my kitchen counter, uh, and that's the dishwasher there. And by the way, you don't have to worry about the heat fluctuations because I never use it. So NBD, I guess. Um, but yeah, so everything seems to be going okay. Uh, I got little. Uh, got Leonard in here. Um, hey, Leonard. Seems to be doing really well. I mean, he's been swimming around the entire tank and um, can't really complain about that. But he seems to be doing okay. Um, fed him a couple times. Good to go. Uh, I was thinking about getting two, but they only had one that was actually a percula clownfish. And so, well, it was, at least it was labeled percula. I don't know if it's true percula or not. But it's got those black... Um, it's got black edges around its uh, its stripes or sections or what have you. So I'm pretty sure it's a percula clownfish, a uh, true percula. But uh, I might get a little bit of a bigger one uh, at some point in the near future. We'll have to see, but he's a little lonely right now, I think. Uh, and right now I'm kind of just, I'm new, so I'm trying to get everything sorted out, etc., etc. Um, looks like cloud coverage went over. But... Okay, as you can see, I have my Coralia 425 gallon per hour uh, power head going in here. The thing was tiny. I took it out of the box and I was like, what? I didn't think it was going to be that small, but it's actually putting out some good current. This, uh, this right here on top that is from that Marineland 900 circulation pump. Uh, so definitely some good, <laughs> some good surface uh, breakage there. But... Other than that, I think I need to get some more live rock, um, or at least do a different aquascape with that. I don't even call that much of an aquascape, but yeah, we'll see. I'll get around to it. But yeah, things seem to be going pretty well. And um, I'll give you one more look at look one more look at Leonard here. Say hi, Leonard. Say hello. There he goes. Okay, do your thing. Yeah, it was actually kind of interesting when I first brought him home. He was kind of just. He was just chilling uh, down here in the bottom right-hand corner of the tank. Uh, and I think it was because he was at the, the local fish shop, and they have him in those, like, small cube tanks. And he was the only one in the tank, so he was living it up. But um, yeah, when I put him in, I acclimated him into my tank and then let him free. He was, like, just staying in the little bottom right-hand corner. And I was like, dude, the tank's bigger than that. <laughs> like, you're in a bigger tank now. Go. Go free. Um, and he's been swimming around quite a bit now. So, uh, although I did hear it's not unusual for clowns to stay in, um, you know, one spot of the tank a lot. But yeah, he's seen, he's been exploring, so that's good. 
but yeah, any suggestions on new additions or what I should go about doing next is besides the sump. I know I need to do the sump, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that in terms of the stand because I think my father and I are going to build one. Uh, I've seen a lot of great uh, DIY stands around, but we'll have to see how I'm going to do with that. So anyway, yep, let me know and I will uh, be back soon. Peace out.